It's got fish. Baby. Okay. Hello. Y'all, this food is good. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jamisa Capri, the nurse practitioner extraordinaire, and today we're doing something a little bit different. I have a guest with me today. Hello, it's Jay Braxton. And today we are exploring all of our African American uh, owned businesses in our area. We are not spending any of our dollars on anything other than African American businesses. So we're bringing you along for that. We are at our first location. It's the Juicing Life Bar in Newport News. And we're about to go in and have some breakfast. So uh, we're going to just vlog this whole day. So stay tuned. Life bar. You see it. Hello. Okay, we're in here. Yes, we are. And it is really, really nice in here. It's really vibrant. The colors are beautiful. And Devondria is going to take the camera and scan a little bit so you can see. Yes. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Kale. Kale, like kale spinach? Kale and spinach? Okay. <laughs> or Keaton and Kale. <laughs> okay, I want to know. Have you tried any of the bowls? Yeah, they're all good. Oh, they're all good? Oh. We're just trying to help. Oh, we're all. Oh, oh, my heart. heart. Yeah. It's tough. It's tough. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. So, okay, what do you today? recommend for us? We're gonna have lunch today too, so. You got Okay, I'll go. I will go with the smoothie. My favorite is Paradise, but my favorite is Caribbean melon, tropical, juicy drink, and peach on the beach. That's whole menu. Strawberry mango banana pineapple. No special like the dessert smoothie, and we got southern peach cobbler and blueberry cobbler. These are the smoothies we're looking at here. How is it? Mm. Mm. Wait a minute. I don't want to mess it up with my child. I'm going to just do my child. <laughs> this is really good. This is the Fight Cancer um, Cold Press Drink, and it has the orange, spinach, lemon, and apple. And I have a um, apple cider vinegar. Wellness shot. Wellness shot. Not you reaching behind the counter. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's right here. See, they're labeled. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any way to get the recipe? Or, no. <laughs> you want to try it? I do. <laughs> All right, so first stop was a success. success. Oh my gosh, it's so, so good. good. So, so good. We couldn't get our smoothie bowls, but we got a good alternative, and I love it. I got the Juicy Dreams. Mom and got the Fight Cancer. Fight Cancer with a shot of apple cider vinegar. And they actually have a whole detox line where they have you drink juices all day from their pressed juice line. And it's a whole detox. So maybe, Mom, you could try that next time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I've already tried it. So <laughs> I loved it. Yeah. And they were super, super nice, super friendly, awesome, mm -hmm. awesome environment nice and and upbeat nice yes. beautiful beautiful location Woo! to the first stop yep. Th that's a thumbs up that's a 10. Well, 10 out of 10 out of 10. so i'm gonna have my shot of apple cider vinegar and my drink it was supposed to go in here but i i don't want to do that because i just want to get this over with okay oh this is gonna be and i normally don't Wait a minute, maybe I can use my straw. Hold this. 
Can you hold this? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use my straw because. Ooh, smell it. Ooh. All right. Ooh, no, no, no. Oh, that's awful. Oh, that is terrible. <clears throat> Oh, that's just disgusting. Oh, they got a special one. That ain't bad. They got a special apple cider vinegar. Mm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to stick it, stay in my lane and drink my sweet old smoothie. Because <laughs> that's sure sweet. Mm-hmm. Right? It's like candy. Yeah. So good. Mm. So good. This was a success. I am very impressed with this. Yeah. I've already been here, but you know how I feel about you just living by her? 10. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Just when I thought it wasn't getting bad, it got bad okay it is nasty all over again it's okay though because they ain't gonna hold us back that's what they're not gonna hold us back okay, okay guys, guys. <laughs> We are here at Respect the Pole, and Respect the Pole is a pole dancing class for fitness and for um, really, really pretty much fitness. I've been here before, and I've been to a couple parties, and let me tell you, the workout is real. They're not open right now. They will be open after uh, July 4th, mm -hmm. the first um, Monday, Monday of July 4th. But we wanted to at least show you guys the outside of this place and so you know where it is off of Big Bethel. All right, here yes. we go. And this here is the Respectable business. And this is where her dance fitness class is. And we'll have all her information in the description box below. I don't know if I'm zooming out or zooming in or what. Yeah. So this is her sign. I don't know if that's her up there, but. Yeah, that's her. Okay, cool beans. And then appointments only, y'all. Appointments only, you hear me? Okay. So that is respectable. And we <laughs> and we will be back to actually physically go into the class and maybe show off some our of our skills. dance moves. <laughs> <laughs> okay, off to the next place. Next, that water helped. Next, we're going to um, a black-owned beauty supply store. So. Mm -hmm. We're going to probably pick up a couple items there and take you guys along with us. Yes, so there actually are two black owned um, beauty supply stores in Hampton. The one we're going to is the one off of Big Bethel. Um, but there's another one that I don't know the address to off the top of my head. But yes, so that we are going to one of the two black owned business beauty supply stores okay and we're off to see the wizard oh no she's open okay good okay. okay so we are here at Queen's crown beauty supply And we are about to go inside and get some things before we go to our next destination. Okay, so we're about to go in. Here's her shop. And this is her store. Hello. Hello. 
Okay. This is the owner. Hey. <laughs> so was it hard starting? Yes. Was it hard starting this business? Was it hard getting out here? Yes. In the beginning, it is um, hard. You know, you have to deal with um, getting accounts and stuff. And mm -hmm. being that we don't have the wholesale, um, you have to go through everybody else for the accounts. And a lot right. of times, it's just it's a hard thing to do. Yeah. Is it because you're fighting against other like Korean stores or other um, stores that have problem where, where it comes into play because a lot of the times they don't want to give you accounts and they don't want you No, to they accounts. don't. They know that if one black business is, is successful, a beauty supply store, then they know more mm -hmm. and more people are going to want to do it. And yeah. that's the thing. Uh, they don't want it, you know, they, right. they just want it off themselves. And so that, well, that's what pretty much makes it hard. But, but you did it. Yeah, and that's on period. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So when um when we ran into those problems in the beginning, we basically just um linked up with other black owned beauty supply stores. Mm -hmm. So we all ordered together. We oh, that's to keep good. Our as low as possible, and um we all stay in the network, so we're all kind of helping each other. If anybody got any questions, we are always there for each other and just helping out um, with the things that you know sometimes we'll run across a problem and then I'll call them. Like, all right, I can get you down here or vice versa so we all help each other out it's one in norfolk called uh -huh. blessed um roots beauty supplies one in williamsburg called supreme styles they were good mentors to us helping us out in the beginning and um, we just hope to help more people mm -hmm. you know hopefully you know more and more people and entrepreneurs come out and want to do it right it's how hard, hard is it to be a storefront like this next to food line i mean well we get a lot of foot traffic because of food line so if you're going to open a beauty supply store make sure you got some traffic out there you know you want to make sure food i meant like root like my like rent like is the rent hot i mean um, i mean you know what i'm saying does the city help or anything like that no no okay. no it's pretty much you know when you got dealing with leasing agents they're just pretty much about the money it's mm -hmm. not even really um even during the pandemic they didn't you know necessarily go out their way to help us at all it's mm -hmm. the same thing that we had to deal with before as far as paying it whether you make it or not you have to pay it yeah right. you still got to make that but, yeah um, um, it's not that um it, you know it just it is what you make it. you gotta basically just work really really hard mm -hmm. and, um, you can't expect anything in return you just have to make sure you're working for the right reasons and it will come to you you know you just you can't be so focused on money all the mm -hmm. time yeah it's just gonna work like that we give back to the community all the time breast cancer month we oh yeah awesome oh yeah we, do that too. yeah we make the wigs give and give them away uh-huh yeah. That's awesome. Back to school, gave the boys do rags and belts so they advance you know, with you know. Oh, that's but, awesome. But um, on girls, we gave the girls packages and stuff. We um, we donate a lot, and that's one thing the Koreans won't. Right. Back to mm -hmm. our mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So yeah. Listen, how did you come up with the name? Oh wait. Oh, how you doing? Oh, oh, so she got a customer. <laughs> um, Queen's crown. I love that. Yeah, you know our head <laughs> is our crown, so I guess we just put it together. Yeah. Yes. Real nice. Real nice. Well, this oh, is awesome. Something. Yes. Something. Yeah. I didn't realize you had as much. I know Me when either. I first came in here, it was just, this, it was side. just this side. Yeah. 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 We had one side originally, then Metro PCS, so we wanted to expand. In this business, you have to because the Korean stores are huge. Huge. Are huge. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. True. True. Okay. Well, thank, thank you. you. Hopefully, I didn't. <laughs> no, that was good. That was good. Oh, you sell bold hold too? She sells what? Bold hold active. Oh. You won't find that in a regular beauty supply store. <laughs> All right, bye. Right, thank you. You too. Alrighty, that was so good. So, that was awesome. Yes, it was so awesome. We met the owner. Owner, the owner. Okay, so first and foremost, she let's talk so about- She was so shy. She was shy, but she was so sweet. And also, I like the fact that the owner is working, okay? The owner isn't just, owning she is owning mm -hmm. working owning working you know this is just great we really love to see it we love to see it 
Yes. Yeah, she talked about how hard it was to come out against other businesses like hers because they try to keep us out because they know that when black owned businesses get a hold of something, we just explode. Yeah. Hmm. Period. Period. So, all right, we are off to get all dolled up to go to our lunch and we shall be back after we've made ourselves up. So, see you guys in a few. All right, you guys, so we are on our way to Mango Mango. So some things got a little mixed up and we made our reservations accidentally for tomorrow. So <laughs> we are rushing over to get there before 1.15 so that we can get a seat and get some lunch. So we made it you guys and we are about to go inside well we're about to okay hold on. i don't know why it keeps doing this to me okay so we're going to actually um give you a little tour of the outside of mango mango so you can get a feel of how it is and yeah so let's do it Okay guys, we've made it to our next destination, Mango Mango, which is also a black owned um, restaurant here in downtown Phoebus. So here we are. <laughs> All righty. So we're just headed around. And as we said, we are going to enjoy us some black owned businesses today. Yep, All day today. So. And at Mango Mango, they sell like um, Louisiana style? Creole? Yeah. yeah, Creole. Creole food. Yep. So we're going to dig into that. Creole. I'm going to put my mask on now. Okay, so we're now just waiting to check in to our reservations. And yeah, so. Okay, we made it. We made it. So here is the menu. And they transferred to paper menus because of COVID, I'm sure. Yeah, definitely. So I already know what I'm gonna have. What are you getting? I'm gonna get a po boy, half of a po boy, and something else. Um, I think it comes up. Hi, ladies. How are you? Hi. How are you? Hi. How are you? Hi. My name is Amber. I'll be taking care of you all. Okay. Is this your all's first time? No. Okay, well, welcome back. Let's see, can I start you all off with the mango seed, mango lemonade? Or? I think I'm just going to have. How you doing? I think I'm just gonna have ice water. Ice Me too. Water? Of course. Please. Yes. Thank you. Wait. The, you're getting the fish bubble? Oh, this looks good. I think I might have the turkey. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna go with the 
Oh, they have the cheesecake Benedict for lunch. Oh, you want a free thank thing. you. Avery. Avery. Avery, I have a question for you. Of course. The um, turkey bistro versus the fried fish po' boy. No well, bacon. If you're doing the fried fish po' boy, I would do the combo. So the combo yeah. comes with a cup of gumbo, so I would do the fried fish po' boy combo. Over the turkey beef. Yes, combo. only because you get more with the fried fish uh, po' boy combo because you get the gumbo and half the sandwich and the fries. Well, does it taste good though? Oh, of course. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, you, you need I know a minute? What I want. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm ready. I'm gonna go with the. Um, Choose Hampton. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna just do a little panorama of the room. Oh, and they give us fresh flowers on the table every time you come. Okay hey guys, this is our waitress. Hi, welcome to Lingo Lingo. My name is Avery. Hey, bro. <laughs> okay, people, our food has come. This is a Chesapeake cake. Crab cake. <laughs> With a garden salad and garden some salad chips. And some chips. And I've got a po' boy, a fish po' boy with, what is that, gumbo and fries with a some type of crab <laughs> claw hanging out there. Everything looks yummy. Alrighty, so we I'm are starving. to dig in. I'm so hungry. I'm hungry. Yeah, we're extremely hungry, so. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and start eating. And I guess give you guys our response after we're done eating because I don't know if you want to see me. I don't know. Eat. Yeah. Actually, I'll take a bite for you. <laughs> give me a second here. Dear Lord, thank you for this food. Okay. We're about to receive from everybody. We will bless this food. We will bless this food. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Okay. Here we go. Crab cake. Taste. Is that music? Is that Oh, no. <laughs> mm. And this mm. is the mm. po' boy. Mm. Mm. Oh, that crap it. Oh, my. That's good. That's good. So, we're going to enjoy our food. And we'll be back for dessert. <laughs> Okay. The food was amazing. Thank you. No. Amazing. Okay. I don't understand why wow, was that good. Ten of skin. My beef. So we're just gonna finish up here and head over to the bakery across the street. Scratch Bakery. That is also black. So we shall see you guys across the street. Thank you. And towards us. Okay, so now we are gonna go get us some dessert. Dessert from Scratch Bakery across the street. It's made from scratch. <laughs> from scratch, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. This is, this is simply Panache Place. And this is their boutique and hotel. OK, 
Okay, so now we are gonna go get our pastries at Scratch Bakery. And ice cream is what it says. Bakery and ice cream. Alrighty, let's go. Yeah, it does. What does it say? Money can't buy happiness, but cupcakes. Oh, wait. But it, but it can buy cupcakes, which pretty much the same thing. That's cute. All right, so it is super cute in here. Mm -hmm. Did you show that? Nice. Yeah, so we're gonna do a little panorama again, just in case I didn't get it. <laughs> All right, as you can see, we've eaten. Our spirits are lifted. Yeah, lifted. They're lifted, definitely lifted. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do another panorama, panorama. All righty, so we got our cupcakes and cake. And we are ready. Look at the sun trying to come out, y'all. Yes. Beautiful. Thank God. Let me take these off my... Oh, we can take them off. <sighs> okay, so we have gotten our goodies. And now we are going to head to our next destination. So stay tuned. Ready, Mom? I am. I am, I am. Okay, I guess we don't have to get off the camera. Huh? This is our first vlog for real, y'all, so... <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. We don't know what we doing for we real. <laughs> I don't know whether to cut the camera, keep the camera. I don't know, I know right? And then y'all want to see it. It was a bee. See us walking, talking, and talking. then like this, the lighting. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> if I'm supposed to set it on a certain setting. Look, we just gonna do it and see how it turns out. Yes. So today has been lovely. Not gonna lie, it was a little rough start because of um, <laughs> got a little slow. Well, little. it was just a little rough start. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Dirty work. <laughs> got some food in us, and we're good to go. Yes, yes. So we like some good food. Yes, yes. Oh and my gosh, so and the food delicious. was so good. Oh, all right. I know. Oh my gosh, and I'm probably gonna come back tomorrow. <laughs> she better not do that. I won't. She just wants my food. <laughs> Yeah, I want to get, next time I'm going to get the fish po' boy. However, the crab cake was shop hopping, okay? Mm -hmm. It was so good. And the bread. Amazing. You know how we feel about bread. <laughs> it was so good. I think they put butter on it. Everything. <sighs> All right. The one in the car now, y'all. Ooh. How cute that is. Maybe like all pastries do, I mean all pastry places do this, but this is kind of cute. It's like in a little thing so we don't move around. And I got the Oreo something. Oreo cupcakes. Oreo overload. Oreo overload. This is the coconut cake. Mm -hmm. And it's with their homemade buttercream with coconut, with coconut cake as well. This is for hubby. He loves coconut. coconut. And then I got for me, because I'm not a frosting girl, I love a good glaze. So I got the lemon pound cake mm. with lemon glaze. Yummy. And honestly, guys, it's probably going to take me three days to eat this. And but I'll eat it. And three minutes for me. <laughs> <laughs> Which is about right. <laughs> Right, let's okay, so now we're gonna head to our next destination. And oh, this lighting is killing me, you guys. Okay. Oh no, the battery's dying. Okay, but we're gonna head to our next destination and then charge our battery. Charge the battery. Yeah. Yeah, because we're amateurs and we're learning, and this is our first vlog. So, yeah. That's for you, Brennan. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> with lemon icing. <laughs> Excellent. What 
are you doing? Okay, so we are on our way to a black owned gym. And yeah, that's what we're about to do. And initially we were supposed to go work out yeah. this morning. That did not work out. We no, ran out of time. Out of time and out of energy. Yeah, so we're just going to make sure we go over. We're gonna see their pricing, we're gonna see their setup, and we're gonna show you guys this black owned gym in Hampton, Virginia. And I believe I think when they first opened they had a special for students, but I'm not too certain now, but I will definitely get all we'll get all the specifics when we talk to them once we get there if they're open. So here we go. Arrived better bodies 757 and that is the gym. All right. All right, let's see. We're gonna go inside now. Okay, we are headed into the better gym. Better 757. I'm going to turn it towards me. Better body. Better bodies. 757. 757. Says trap house fit. <laughs> trap house fit. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> okay, so we're here. Hopefully the owner is here, and we can, you know, chit chat with someone. Is it open? Oh no, it's not. Oh, it's not open. All right. Well, it's okay. It's not open, but hold on. Let's get some light. It's not open, but I'm going to see if I can show you guys the inside of the gym. Um, I do know that also a lot of Hampton students work here as trainers. So, yeah, support. Y'all support. If you, you, know, you know Hampton's gyms aren't that great. So, this is right down the street from Hampton. There's no reason why you don't come here. So, let's see if we can get you inside to see something. Yeah. Can you there see? we go. Yeah, I can. Look at this. So nice. Look at all this stuff. And this is black owned, you guys. Black owned. Oh, you can't see through there. I think. Yes. Did you get all this? Uh huh. This is their sign. Performance enhancement personal training. Okay, so we couldn't go into the gym, but that's okay. But, yeah, that's okay. We are still supporting. Once they open up, maybe we can get in and see some of the stuff they have inside and maybe work out and get a membership, honestly. Maybe. Hey. So, yeah. Okay, next de destination. All right, here Let's we go. go. <laughs> okay, so we've made it to our last destination of the day, and we are at Got Fish which is a black owned restaurant and hello and we are going to just go inside and place an order this is their menu i think i'm gonna go with a fish po' boy or maybe fish and grits or i don't know yet i haven't decided yeah i haven't decided Okay. okay. Hey guys. We're back. We're back. <laughs> and so we're at our last destination. We are at Got Fish Seafood in Hampton. Yes. And this is on Big Bethel. It's the town center. Yeah, it's like oh, the no. town center. Plaza. Something. Yeah, Plaza. And we are getting ready to go inside. We want you guys to know what it looks like inside. We're going to place our order. And I don't think they're going to let us eat here, but if they do, we might take a bite here. But if not, we're going to take it to go. Yeah. All right, guys. Here we go. This is how it looks inside. So cute. So cute. Okay. 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 So, wait. I just want to say one thing. Tell them. First of all, don't be eating like this all day. Mm -hmm. Okay? This is too much. That was a lot. Second of all, this got fish, baby. Okay. Hello. 
y'all. This food is good. Food good. Atmosphere good. Customer Music service. good. Customer, Customer service. service. 10, 10, 10. 10. 10 out of 10. What you think, Gary? I agree. The food was booming. The only thing is, agreed on the don't eat like this. As she eats. <laughs> It was it was really hard at towards the end to finish all the food, mm -hmm. but you we know, had to. We, we had, had to. to. We had to do it because who else is gonna do it? Mm -hmm. Okay, but no. Um, y'all, y'all. I'm proud of all my black-owned businesses today. Oh my gosh, it's been you guys amazing. So I'm gonna say, if you're gonna eat like this, eat at these black-owned businesses. No shade, but I didn't have to season anything extra didn't have to sauce and saturate and sauce with nothing on none of these businesses okay no shade no shade no shade no tea as Jaquan would say okay no shade no tea but mm -hmm. there was a lot of sauces in my food today I'm just gonna add that like my crabby fries from got fish there's like a crabby sauce that was delish and then there was some sauce for the actual fish. Like a tartar sauce. Tartar marmalade type deal. Yeah, like there's a spin on it. And actually, the I think they just started putting the crabby sauce on the side. I think that's when you get it to go. Okay, because I'm going to say, and it's probably for like soggy purposes. Mm -hmm. But I was going to say, excuse me, I was going to say, they usually, because let me tell you, got fish? I'm proud of y'all because y'all used to be only a truck that would travel from east coast to west coast, Okay. Virginia Beach, Norfolk, Virginia Hampton, Newport News, y'all were everywhere. And now you have an actual store location, a restaurant, and I'm so proud of y'all. And anyways, they would come to Hampton for our homecomings and they would have their crab fries. I think they would come to Hampton. I'm almost certain they came to Hampton. I think that's the first time I've tasted it was at Hampton. And then I went and actually found the Instagram and went and flag down the little truck so they will put the crab dip that you get on the side they will put it on top of all of the fries it's a meal in itself y'all. yeah it really is it really is so we, we shared, shared. yeah <laughs> we had the what was it called the fish platter we had the pieces of fish pieces of whiting two a hush puppy a hush puppy some fry and, and crab fries. fries which is more, more than, than enough, enough. More than enough. And we didn't eat it all. I'm gonna be honest. We we didn't eat it all. Granted, I, we've been eating like crazy all day. People all day. So um I oh, needed it, room to save for my scratch. Mm -hmm. And how much was the food approximately? Like mm -hmm. 20? Like 20, 20 bucks. Pounds, yeah. But it's a lot. If if yeah, if that but it was a lot a lot of food, a lot a lot of food. And we'll put pictures throughout the the vlog. Um but no, yeah, I'm very happy with today, today. yeah i'm glad we got to do it i'm glad we got to be a part of the movement in our own way and spend the black dollar holla make you holla okay um <laughs> but we I, it was awesome and i'm just glad that when we did go to support at these black owned businesses that you guys showed up and showed out with all around like customer, customer service, service everything food, food quality quality clean, wait time cleanliness, cleanliness aesthetic all of it literally mm -hmm. i'm you guys are showing up and showing out and i'm just so proud to be a part of this culture and to be a part of this movement um it's everything it was it was a bomb day it was a really really good day yeah now i'm full <laughs> so i'm gonna take myself to my black bed well there will be a small segment where we take a piece or a bite of the Scratch Bakery. Oh yeah, of course. Later on today. Yeah. Later on. I actually have to do it within the next hour because I'm just not gonna eat after seven, sorry. Yeah, so actually I think I might try and take a bite in the next few seconds. <laughs> just to get <laughs> I'm so full, y'all, I'm so full, but. Okay, maybe, maybe we should. Just we take a like, little bite. Yeah, we have forks. Okay, we're gonna take a little, little bite, y'all. Here we go. <laughs> we are going to taste our pastry. The final bite of food today. I'm telling you, this it is really no delicious. more, but necessary. Very necessary. All right, so I have the lemon pound cake. 
front. I'm just gonna take a little bite, y'all. That's all I can do. <laughs> oh, that looks good. All right. No. Oh. No, I was just. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Give me a piece. Mmm. That's like your grandmama. Oh, that's good. It's not overly sweet. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. Hubby mm -hmm. is probably going to end up eating it, all of it, but you know, it's delicious. Okay. And I have the cupcake, the Oreo Overload Cupcake. Going to get up in this cupcake here. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Okay. Let me get to a little taste. Mm -hmm. So that was yummy. That was and really so, yummy. I had some of hers too. The Oreo Overload Cupcake. I'm not a frosting girl, but this frosting is delicious. Phenomenal. Yeah. I, um, sorry. I had an incoming call from a telemarketer. But yes, yeah, so that was delicious. Again, Scratch Bakery is a 10 for me too. Mm -hmm. And I'm not just saying this, you guys. I'm not just saying these are tens just because they're black-owned businesses. They actually really taste good. Like all jokes aside. Yeah. So um, don't think I'm just saying that just because. Um, if it wasn't good, I would honestly tell you. I would tell you. But um, these were good. These were awesome. All day. All day. Everything. Every day. Even from the juice bar on down. Yeah. On down. On down. Come down. <laughs> <laughs> much you guys yes. for hanging in there with us again if you like this type of content just go on and subscribe to my channel i am the nurse practitioner extraordinaire and subscribe to my channel i almost said braxton's boutique drea, <laughs> drea braxton and um we'll probably be doing a lot more vlogs and stuff once outside opens up so you know just hang in there with us and i hope you guys enjoyed this uh black owned business all day all blackout vlog yes ma'am um, and honestly under the comments just leave all of the black owned businesses you love all the black owned businesses you support restaurants boutiques nail techs lash techs anybody anything just leave it in the comment section below so we can build our community and start supporting each other so i love you guys and we shall see you next time bye, bye. Woo!